Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the first non-My Little Pony movie on the channel. Today, we'll be tackling the Goofy movie. I have never seen this movie and I just had this gut instinct to watch it. I've heard clamors of what the movie is and includes throughout my lifetime, but today we'll experience it together. If you guys want more animation films, there's a list down below on Letterboxd that I made where it has all the popular movies that I haven't seen. So if you want to see more, comment down below, look at there, maybe even just recommend any of them, and we might just experience it together. So if you want more films, you like the animation content I do with My Little Pony, Steven Universe, Spongebob, some anime, some music, subscribe, join the Patreon. All right, enough marketing the goofy movie i was supposed to do a weird like cut and then go into the explanation of the movie but it didn't work out so let's just get this started <laughs> oh there's new effects for a movie oh a goofy movie okay. it's gotta be a dream right roxanne oh whoa <sighs> Alright, yeah, 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 the, the, um, Max is, is, is me right now. Music, <laughs> whoa! What? Look at that dress! Those twinkly eyes. Yeah, this is a dream. Whoa, whoa. Is he scared to be like his dad? There's already so much emotion packed into there. Look the Mickey phone. Son! Goofy! Already, we got the oh, father-son non-relationship. Was he anyway? Whoa! Yeah, some pop rock. Okay. There she is. Oh. Hey, what the hell am I? <laughs> no, you looked awful there, man. You fumbled. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, yeah. Should I hope you can all attend my totally amazing end of school party next Saturday to watch the Caroline concert live on pay per view? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the band. Thank you, thank you. Very Say, uh, Roxanne, about Stacy's party. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, they might be a prom night. No. Are you a. So Jimmy does like a cringe dance. I don't know. Oh, no. Bro, the lip like. Get me instead of just. Oh my god, what? this is so smooth though. Dang, the tension, man. What is this? This is the perfect goofy job. Oh, come on. Bro, she looks. Done. Now you come on here, honey. Something's wrong when a kid won't spend time with his parents. Mm. I'm a fraud. He'd never get mixed up in something like that. <laughs> well, I mean, he wasn't thieving. He was just trying to impress the school. Hey, she got the hot spot. Oh. 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 Talk to him. Oh, you see that she walked slow? <laughs> She's a push. Oh. Oh. Um, I, I liked your dance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love these um, interactions. Uh, I hate them at the same time. Roxanne, I were to kind of think that maybe I'd sort of kind of <laughs> ask you to <coughs> go with me. That is totally understandable. Yeah, nice guy. I was sort of kind of thinking that I'd love to. Oh, yeah? he's yeah. in the door. Good. He's in there. Great. Terrific. <laughs> I love, bro. You, like, you rarely see shy girls. See, that wasn't so bad. Yes. yes, I'm vicariously like, living through Max right now. Everybody mumbo. Yes, honestly, this is every every person's dream. You dream girl, you hitting it off, and it's not like ah. Oh dang. Explain it better. Before he ends up in the electric chair. What? The electric chair. Dress. 
Oh, is that gonna be the, the same week as the? No, no. Forget it, girl. He's Roxanne. Hey. I love this. I just heard about you and Roxanne. Is that the voice of Carl Weezer? Okay, he, he he finally feels accepted after being like sort of a joke. A fool. Donald Duck? <laughs> Donald. It is sweet, but he's not understanding both. What that stank you? Roxanne! I guess so. Of course. Go on. Go on, good daddy. This is daddy, of course. Hey, Max. I have it. You wanna... Uh, have a seat? Hey. Uh, uh. Oh, whoa! Daddy? Uh, so no. I I'm really looking forward to it, Max. No. Yeah, I was. Don't worry about it, Max. No. It's just a party. No, it's not. It, Roxanne, I really have no I'm choice. I'm sure I can find someone else. No, 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 no. Someone else? I'll just talk to you later. No, oh, the uh, rejection. Roxanne, uh, oh my God. Sorry, Max. That would fulfill uh, me. I'll see you on TV. For eons. She was being very. Ah, uh, she's being dead. No. This is the father son conflict the music. Cutting heads. Now we got no music. Great dad, now we don't have I know Max. If your nerves are guide us straight and true. Roxanne, please don't forget me. Hey. Oh wow. Oh. oh wow, that's great. I had that transition from the jailman and okay, okay. Hey! Bro, the music in this is so impressive. Just like soundtrack music on on a movie. It's actually like written choreographed songs. Bro, and you see how many like different parts of life people can be? The jail guy. Got women singing there. This is there is an explorative existential feeling there. If you look at it though. <laughs> uh -huh. huh. Interesting uh lyrics there. And that just connects to Max, right? Because he felt like a dork at school. And remember that dream in the beginning like I was talking about? Like, he's really scared to be a loser, a failure, a weirdo like his dad. But the game, like, Luffy like, just has fun. He just lives. But obviously, as the NCT team, you're going to be more embarrassed. Away from you. Me? What'd I do? Come on! The silence is nice. Dropped your hat. Yeah, and then him as a parent, remember, he's going to be in the electric chair. So he thinks he's failing even in reconnecting with the sun and saving his son. This is a deeper movie than I would have anticipated, man. Oh, see? The dead rat, the rain falling up. Yeah, I would see mirages too. <laughs> Okay, I mean, like, this isn't even camping. You're just, like, out and outdoors. Whoa. Just seems like everything I try yeah. only drives Max further away. Mm -hmm. Maybe I ought to just back off. I don't know. Wrong, goof. Keep them under your thumb. They'll never end up in the gutter. Cool. They don't even have that good of a relationship. Pete, uh, Max and I have some fish to catch. Oh. But see, that's his style of parenting. Very strict and... I'm the man here, not listening to the child still. Dad, you got the touch angle, that's so cool. Oh my god. That's how you know that this movie's dated. It has those internal lighters in there. I love how they have silence here, man. It's such a small thing, but I love What's so funny? Like it's not extra music, Ooh. theatrics. I dad to spell things out using the letters like uh, mm. I dad or Maxi or I love you. Oh wow! Happy goosebumps. The L word. 
It, is it, it never gets yet? spoken enough. Whoa, we, mm. you two did a lot together, huh? Yup. Hmm. Dad, Dad, listen, I'm have sorry. Um, I also wow, the way they're capturing this emotional communication, like they say it and then they pull back. Nothing. Oh, really beautiful. Aww, that's so sweet. Understanding between the two. Had a little small conversation. Obviously, it needs more time to actually relish and develop. Remember the runtime of the game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dead no matter what I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, are, are, are you gonna change the map? Uh, it sucks too that we just had a breakthrough. Uh, I lied. Oh, come on, man. Uh. They know how to make a point just up, with very horses. little movement. With not even like a lot of dialogue, they can just express it. Short stack? You need to start taking some responsibility <laughs> around here. Excuse me, uh, can I have your attention? What? Please? No, stop it. <clears throat> oh. Oh, well, I'm oh. not even looking at the map anymore. Oh, wow. As a matter of fact, you can pick all the stops from here to Lake Destiny. Trust you wholeheartedly, son. Mm. Oh, he looked. Uh, to the open yeah. road. Yeah, to make his to guilty conscience even more. Road. That could be the compromise. They could still go to LA, and then at the end, go to like Destiny. And see, like, there's something that he doesn't like that they're trying. Oh, see, there you go. That's what it is. Obviously, Goofy's father doing things that the son didn't really like. And then now, there were times when, on long side the trip, Max was doing things that Goofy didn't really like. Or maybe he was just more uncomfortable with. Hey, see, the relationship sounds so much better. Check out the bed. Water bed, like literally. Check out the dresser. And it's cool. also a dated thing, water beds. Nice lamp. A little mermaid. Oh no no! Uh, I was panicked. No man, we just ha no. He knows already that he's in charge of the trip, kind of. But I guess if he finds out that since the beginning it was changed, that's not a good view. Bro, this no, nah, this guy's the worst. I just hate to be the bad news, but that that was the trust. Yeah, you know. Maybe Max isn't all the things that you think a son should be, but he loves me. Mm. Hey, my son respects Respect's me. Respect is not the same thing as love. Yeah. But again, it's also respect because Check it's, it's fearful. Move. Man, this is good. This is good. It's tackling these emotional, psychological things. Ah! Uh, look at Goofy looking disheveled and like silent. The whole movie's been like so proud and happy and not embarrassed. Look at this, man. Wow! Do you see that transition, man? And it still stayed on the car. This is so good. The silence again? Remember how I pointed out silence? They're not afraid to use like five, ten seconds just to establish the mood. But yeah, he feels okay. guilty as well. He rewrote it. Ah. Oh. Here comes our junction. <laughs> Dude. Okay, Max, now this is it. Left or right? Uh. Come on, Max! Yeah. Split decision. Uh, again? He's literally angry. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, man or woman? Thing like to and now I see how it's flipped. Man, man, okay, uh, Walt Disney. From, from the beginning of the trip to right now. You just put it on yourself. Hey. See, you ruin everything. Hey. And see again, obviously, as the car goes downhill, they're at, at a breaking point too. I never. Great direction. Great. Ruining my life. 
Oh, wow. I'm only trying to take my boy fishing, okay? I'm not your little boy anymore, Dad. Yep. I've grown up. I've got my own life now. Dang. I know that. Yeah. I just wanted to be part of it. Yeah. <laughs> and they're away from each other with these feelings. Realizing, not facing face to face, but back to back. I'm saying, see the the spatial usage in this movie is incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our time this is now and then bewildering. Mm -hmm. Heroes trophy. No colorizes. Else They're balanced together, and you can't be on too much one side, too much the other one. Let's face it, distress him. If you're having yeah. trouble guessing, he's just highly animated. Yeah. And Bro, this is so beautiful, man. Turned into a oh my god. Violin's also building up. Bro, the songs in this are incredible. I figure she's never gonna want to talk to me. Hey, never go. Much less go out. <laughs> I thought for a second he was pretty evil there. <laughs> so, the fishing. From when they were spending time together. He was listening. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a. <laughs> no, I just went away, man. So, yeah, to bring that back full circle. Finally do all that and then just not go to LA there. I'm not the biggest fan. Especially because they threw away the map. <laughs> but we're here. Yeah, this needed to easy, but maybe like 10 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Let's get you on stage. Hey, what's up? Probably never talk to me again. Oh, okay, we got a if she does confession. Maybe she's just not the one for you. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Mm-hmm. We 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 want to keep that dream, that fantasy alive, you know. Why would you make up something like that? I don't know. Well, I mean, you rejected him. I guess I just... I already liked you, Max. No, no, you threatened him with, like... the very first time I heard you laugh. Aww. A yuck. <laughs> <laughs> so... You wanna do something tonight? That's the cutest Definitely. thing ever. Oh, oh no, I can't. I... Oh, that's well, so cute. I'm kinda doing something with my dad. I'm saying she made it... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. <laughs> Roxanne, I'd like you to meet my dad. Hey. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Oh, Enchanté. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Whew. Wow, um... I'm very impressed with the Koopy movie. Yeah, there's gonna be some issues with maybe that ending kind of being rushed from just being the waterfall to L.A. And maybe some of the communication that we saw with Roxanne. She made his life harder for him. Because she was saying, like, you don't have to lie. I liked you since the beginning. Obviously, it was so sweet and beautiful. But, you know, she was feeling very rejected. So she kind of made him feel hesitant. So he kind of had to throw a Hail Mary. If he wanted to maintain that. But this movie is... <laughs> I don't want to say it's a masterpiece. But it's it's incredible. The music is amazing the directing and cinema photography when we had angles you had silences was also exceptional and the part i really want to highlight is the emotional depth this movie has it's father son difficulties as they both try to navigate each other and they also try to improve their relationship but at the same time then there's a lot of pushback and it goes the opposite way Goofy, he wants to still be a, a part of his son's life. Time's going by fast, and now he's not the same teenage kid boy that he was. So he, he feels like it's fleeting, but it also feels like he's going in a bad direction because of what the principal had told him, even though it wasn't that bad. So now he's like, I need to do the same things I do with my dad, and, you know, we'll connect again. But he doesn't realize that his son has things that he wants to do. A okay, kid with Roxanne, his new popularity. And then when he's out there, he also feels like he's back at school or before the final day of school, like a loser, a reject. And that dream in the beginning of the movie was insane because 
that foreshadowed and basically told the entire story of what it was already. Just, he's afraid to be his dad. He doesn't want to be goofy like his dad. And he still has like this romance he's going for. So it's like in opposite directions. Like his dad stopping him from Roxanne, from love, from that future. Max is that classic teenage angst and you're ruining my life spiel, but it's so damn relatable. And Roxanne, besides her being kind of difficult and kind of forcing that the hand of Max, this story is what every person dreams of. So maybe this is why, to me, it stands out a lot or it's really beautiful and sweet. Animation, you don't really get this, where the girl is super shy for the guy or really digs the guy. And maybe this is too on the nose of being like someone's fantasy and they just wrote it out like, this hot girl's gonna love me and like me and I'm a goof and stuff like that. Maybe it's too on the nose of that. So I don't really mind them kind of doing that. But I just didn't really expect this type of emotional depth with this film. Yes, it's a father-son movie, but I think there's so much more about growth, about distance, about connecting, about things fleeting, meeting in the middle, listening to each other. Again, remember a lot of the time with their body language, whenever they would speak, they would just be on their side or they would say something and then they would just pull back. So I just think that what they're able to capture in this hour movie, it's a lot more than I see in shows and even natural like narrative film. The, the fact that it managed to show the strain between father son, but with different things going on in their life with Goofy, he's more influenced by, oh, that's a good father-son relationship. Oh, um, I'll do things that I do with my dad. And, oh, trust, I'm gonna trust him. But then we have the opposite side where he feels guilty for it and he just wants to do that goal because his dad wasn't listening. See, there's just so many webs of connectivity and complications that it's all just this loaded message of, father-son relationships and ah it's just it's crazy it's crazy uh did not expect this type of depth from this movie <laughs> i feel silly for saying like this movie is like one of the best animation ones <laughs> i've seen in uh in a long time but i i can't deny it like i said the the weak spots i think are more you know, with the dialogue of some characters and it'll it'll kind of play into it and maybe the fishing line you know obviously like there's still gonna be like ridiculous things but i think this movie it's just deeper than meets the eye and it was a great time it was a fun time it was a relatable time and i guess it's a vicarious time too because i'm living through max and that exploration of newfound love and crushes and you know uh, a spit in image of your dad and <laughs> all these things it's 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 absolutely insane <sighs> well that was the goofy movie and i think there's a second one so if you guys want me to tune into that one as well let me know down below if you want other animation films please please let me know down below this is a very fun time uh this was just a gut feeling i had just to watch this all right guys it's gonna be it for me thank you for joining me and i will see you when I see you.